Now I'm going to prove that differentiability implies continuity. In order to do this, I need to prove that the limit as x approaches c for a function f of x equals f of c. And I need to relate this with the definition of a derivative. So first off, I'm going to start off with the limit as x approaches c for f of x minus f of c. What I'm going to do is multiply by something that's equal to 1. In this case, I'm going to multiply by x minus c over x minus c. I can break this up into the product of two limits due to limit properties. And then I'm going to end up with something that looks like this. And if you recall, this is the definition of a derivative at point C. And when x approaches C, we're going to get zero. So we know that the limit as x approaches c of f of x minus f of c equals zero. So if we break up this limit, we get the limit as x approaches c of f of x minus the limit as x approaches c of f of c, which is equivalent to the limit as x approaches c of f of x minus f of c, because, well, we're plugging in a constant, so we're always going to get a constant. And that is equal to zero because of what we just figured out using algebra. And if we add f of c to both sides, we get the limit as x approaches c of f of x is equal to f of c. Therefore, f must be continuous at x equals c as long as f is di differentiable at point x equals c.